Hey everybody, it's me. Um, if you notice, my hair's a little messy. I just literally walked through the door today. Um, I just got back from um, the Walnut Creek Open Door Mall with my mom. This is kind of our last time really spending time together as far as like shopping and whatnot. Because as of tomorrow night, we're leaving. Me and Devin are going to be leaving and going into our own place. So, um, this video here is finally my MAC Alluring Aquatic Haul. Now, let me get some things out the way. This collection, um, was something a lot of girls learned to make a beauty and all that were really looking forward to. So, let me just say I was all about the packaging and the products, but what I was, um, struggling with, with this, um, collection is that, um, I follow a lot of girls on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter who are into Mac or know things inside that can tell you when they're releasing things on certain sites. So, um, the Alluring Aquatic is a limited edition for their summer collection. Um, my issue was it wasn't with the company. It was more so the night um, or the morning I was ordering Alluring Aquatic on the Mac Cosmetic site. Um, things were being pulled out of my cart as I was trying to check out, and I was getting very upset. The only thing that I got in the mail from the actual Mac site was the blush called um, See Me, Hear Me, and I was able to get this, which I'm happy I did, um, but I was just a little upset because of um, how fast it sold out. Now, I went through Nordstrom because they were going to have it on their website the following week on, I think it was like, uh, I don't know, was it the 19th? That was Monday. I'm looking at the calendar. Um, that was Monday. And so I woke up hell early, like, I think I was up at 5 or 6, but that was because um, Devin had to get ready for work. But I was up early, and I ordered um, the stuff I wanted to order. Now, let me just show you what See Me, Hear Me looks like. This is the packaging, and it's actually textured. It has the water droplets on there. And then this is the bottom of it, kind of like a mirror-like. And it's a nice um, turquoise color. And this is the blush. It's If you could see the swatch, if you can't, I'm sorry. But it's like a nice, um, it's like a, a brownie pink color. Um, but yeah, so I got this separate. And this was the only thing I was able to get from the MAC website. Now... Um, so I got that blush, and I went to Nordstrom's on their website, because Monday they were going to release everything. So I ordered everything, um, and everything didn't ship until, like, I think the 21st. And then the 22nd, there was a scan on the UPS site where you can track your package. That's where things got bad, because then, totally forgetting that Monday the 26th is Memorial Day, so of course that's going to kind of backtrack it. But still, it should have been halfway here by Tuesday, the 27th. Well, let's just say, long story short, I had to keep calling the Mac, not Mac, but I had to keep calling FedEx. I had to call Nordstrom a couple of times. And Nordstrom, must I say, they stand behind all their errors. They are best customer service that I've ever experienced on the phone. Same thing with MAC Cosmetics that they had messed up in the past, but they were able to help me. But anyways... Let's get back to this issue. So let's um, say right about now the package is canceled that I got from Nordstrom because I was going through a lot of crap with UPS. It's mostly UPS was effing up everything. And me and Nordstrom, the company, we t I talked to their reps and basically they fixed everything. They were trying to exchange stuff for me, but I called them like a third time yesterday and I said you know what I'm in the area where there's Mac um, available it's nothing against your Nordstrom company I'm still going to shop with you guys in the future but the problem is um, UPS is messing up everything for me so basically a couple of things have been canceled from that order but I basically went into the mall near my place and um, was like okay I'm just going to get what I ordered um, online but she did say like there's some things that will be shipped to me um, to my new address, and that I'll just have to return it to Nordstrom store, or I can go, um, and send it back through their, um, return thing package. So, anyways, that was the blush I got through the MAC site. Now, what I have for the MAC cosmetics that I got at the Macy's was, um, the nail polish and, um, submerge, and it's like a bluey purple turquoise -y. same thing textured like on the cap, as you can see, like the water beading. And what's on my nails is the Shimmer Fish, which is like the silvery color. Um, it's so pretty. Um, 
these um, are still around. Some nail polishes are still around, depending. I know this one was popular, and this one was popular. The gold one, I noticed that a lot of um, places didn't sell well, so... Um, I got the Siren Song lipstick. I originally had ordered the Enchanted one, which is like a matte neutral color, but I have so many neutral lipsticks. So, this is Siren Song, and this is a luster, which I don't mind. I like lusters, and a lot of people don't like it, but I feel like for me this would be nice because you can use this as a highlight for the middle of your lip when you have like um, a light peachy color or a skin a fleshy color you want to highlight in the middle. I feel like I would use this myself. Then I also got Pet Me Please. I was iffy about. I didn't know if it would be really good or, you know, the color payoff was nice though because I went and swatched it in the store and I was like, this is Pet Me Please. I'm sorry guys, you probably can't even tell which is which, but this is Pet Me Please. Um, this is a frost. I love frost. If people don't know, I like frosty lipsticks. Now, the lip glosses, I got the clear water, and this is something that I want to make sure I got. This is an iridescent, kind of opal -y color lip gloss that I can layer with my lipsticks. And it's also textured with the beading up here. It's really nice. You can feel like the water droplets. That's what's really um, unique about some of the MAC releases. And then this is Water Deities, which is like a neutrally kind of bronzy lip gloss, which I was like, I have to have this. Now, the only thing that I'm not going to return from my Nordstrom package is the, um, it was called the Delphic. I don't know if that was the full name for the bronzer, but it's like a highlight bronzer. Um, and it, yeah, it was a lighter color. This I got in store at Macy's, and this one is Aphrodite Shell, which is more of a brown, like a nice brown color, if you guys can see that. It's kind of like, it's got a little bit of a shimmer, but it's more brown tone fleshy color almost but this would be nice as a highlight it is a bronzer but it depends on skin tones too but um look at the texture as you can see it's like water droplets so yeah all right and last but not least this is uh silver sun and i only got one eyeshadow because it was so hard to find any other eyeshadow anywhere else because they were sold out yeah. so this is what it looks like and let me swatch it for you guys. It's so creamy. Look at that. Yeah, so I couldn't find anything else. So basically, um, that's what it looks like. I couldn't find anything else. So this is what I got for my MAC stuff for the Alluring Aquatic. So leave comments down below what you got in the collection. Um, follow me at LadyPineapple26 on Twitter. And I'm going to do another video after this of a mini haul of Walnut Creek um, open door stuff that we got at that little mall. So... Alright, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, leave some comments and I'll see you later. Toodles.